The city of Sheboygan recently hired a city manager to oversee the day-to-day -day administrative and operational management of the city. In light of these changes, how would you now define the role of the mayor of Sheboygan? The role of Sheboygan's mayor, along with the city council, is to represent the taxpayers. This is his or her role, with or without the city administrator. The presence of an administrator should free up the mayor to do even more direct contact with citizens and businesses, to find the pulse of the city, what we want and what we do not want, and to make certain our collective voice is heard loud and clear in City Hall. Instead of this direct contact with the community, in fact, directly opposed to it, Mayor Bob Ryan has consistently made statements that limit the power of the people. He has said it is not his policy to discuss the future development projects that happen right here in our city. With Eric Geneve as mayor, a statement like that would never be made. If there is a valid reason to keep major development under wraps, then let us know the reason. In an interview this morning, candidate Ben Akron said, if you put all the potential ideas for the city on the table, the good ones will rise up to the surface. And they can stand on their own merit. I could not agree with him more. The city has nothing to hide from us. Lately, it seems that there's a fear that if they decide to tell us the plans and we're informed, we won't agree with the proposed benefits of the project. But who really cares about that? The role of the mayor is, in my opinion, to give value and weight to our opinion as taxpayers, not to silence it. Just the other day, you probably saw in the paper that the phone lines of the city clerk's office were flooded with calls opposing this proposed casino that may or may not or may or maybe not be in plan stages at some city level. We don't really know. Now I can fully understand and empathize with Sue Richards and the rest of her staff in the office. They all seemed like really nice ladies when I went in there to fill in the paperwork. They were very kind. And, and I can understand that they've had a lot on their plate the last few weeks. This was not an opportunity to have the lines clogged. But at the same time, we hear a statement from the current mayor saying that these callers were acting irresponsibly. To say that concerned voters are acting irresponsibly by voicing their opinions on a major development and sale of public land from your constituents seems totally out of line to me. It is irresponsible to waste your time in office planning for something that you don't even know if your city really wants yet. The next mayor needs to lead with integrity both in and out of office. He or she needs to encourage the city's growth by fostering the growth of the community. And also the role of the mayor is to get a haircut. Because as I was starting to campaign, everyone told me I needed to get a haircut. And so the first time since I was three years old, I got a haircut for all of you. 